Consider the vectors u and v. And we're asked here to compute the cross product of u cross v, and then to compute the cross product of v cross u. So, here we go, part A. We want to compute the cross product u cross v. And so what I'm going to do is put this right into my 3 by 3 matrix. So we have the first row is i hat, j hat, k hat. Row 2 is 4, 4, 0. The third row is 0, 2, negative 5. So these aren't equal quite yet. We're just defining that 3 by 3 matrix for our cross product. So now we need to go ahead and compute the determinant with our cofactor expansion. So I'll do this one more time all the way through, breaking it down. And if you're feeling comfortable, by all means, go right for it. But we have this i hat, j hat, k hat, 4, 4, 0, 0, 2, negative 5. And again, because we have three entries in the first row, we're going to need three components of our determinant with alternating terms. So the first term is positive, the second term will be negative, and the third term is positive. So we need to attain the submatrices for each of our standard unit vectors. So to do that, we eliminate the adjacent row and adjacent column in each case. So this leaves us with that 2 by 2 matrix, 4, 0, 2, negative 5 times i hat minus the submatrix, 4, 0, 0, negative 5 times j hat plus the submatrix, 4, 4, 0, 2 times k hat. And now applying that crisscross multiplication or that 2 by 2 definition of our determinant, we can attain the components of u cross v. So here we go. We have 4 times negative 5 is minus 20, minus 0 times 2 is 0. i hat minus 4 times negative 5 is minus 20, minus 0 times 0 is 0. j hat. And last but not least, we have plus. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 4 times 0 is 0. k hat. And let's simplify. So this leaves us with negative 20 i hat. Now negative times a negative leaves us with plus 20 j hat. And then we have plus k hat. And there's nothing wrong with this answer. We can leave it as it is. Or you could put it into its component form, negative 20, positive 20, 8. We even have a scalar multiple here of 4 that we could pull out if you'd like. But this answer is perfect. All right, so now we want to take this and go in the reverse direction. So in part B, we are asked to compute the cross product of V cross U. And again, let's start by thinking about our three by three matrix. So the first row remains the same. We still have i hat, j hat, k hat. But this time, because the order has changed, the second row is the components of vector v. So that's going to be 0, 2, negative 5. And the third row are the components of vector u, 4, 4, 0. So we're now ready to go ahead and apply the determinant with cofactor expansion to find the cross product. So we have i hat, j hat, k hat, 0, 2, negative 5, 4, 4, 0. And again, because we have three entries in the first row, we are going to need three pieces to our determinant with alternating terms. So our first term is positive, the second term is negative, and the third term is positive. And now we need to find the submatrix 
for each of the standard unit vectors. And again, we do this by eliminating the adjacent row and column for each of our standard unit vectors. And this leaves us with the 2 by 2 determinant 2, negative 5, 4, 0, i hat, minus the 2 by 2 determinant of 0, negative 5, 4, 0, j hat, plus the submatrix or the determinant of the submatrix 0, 2, 4, 4, k hat. And hopefully you're starting to notice something. Maybe you even noticed it before. If you haven't noticed, it's okay too. You'll notice momentarily. So again, to find the determinant of each of these two by two submatrices, we apply that crisscross multiplication. So this is leaving us with, we have two times zero is zero, minus negative five times four is minus 20. Or we could put plus 20, I hat. Minus zero times zero is zero, Minus negative 5 times negative 4 is minus 20, or plus 20, j hat, plus 0 times 4 is 0, minus 2 times 4 is 8, k hat. And simplifying this, we are left with 20, i hat, minus 20, j hat, minus 8, k hat. Or if we wanted to compare to put this into our component form, we have 20, negative 20, 8, negative 8, excuse me. So this is our beautiful final answer. And notice the similarities to our answer for u cross v. So if we look up above, we found u cross v to be the vector negative 20, positive 20, 8, and we just found v cross u to be the vector 20, negative 20, negative 8. So the only thing that changes here are the signs. And so we have, with this example, we have established the first property of the cross product. So I want you to note that u cross v is going to be equal to minus v cross u. So that's going to be a fun property and fun shortcut to keep in mind as we proceed with further computations.